Okay, I think we're live. Speak to me, people, if you think we're live. Are we live? I don't know these things until the first person says you're live. All right, here we go. You can hit this and go mute. Yeah, there we are. All right. Is anybody here? Say hello. Hello. Um, <clears throat> Woods Ben Whitesmith has already left us. He just got to work. He had to leave. Oh. He showed up right. He went to work and then got on just to say hey. So that's pretty cool that he took the time. That is cool. He He's up in uh, to... East Texas. We should stop by his house. He's buying his bar for some ribs or beer before. As long as we bring brisket. We'll bring brisket, and then okay. he can have he can have the other stuff. For us. David, good to see you, Tim. Oh, I know you're gonna think tomorrow's Saturday. Sorry, Tim, we messed you up. But I wanted to bring I wanted to bring Mrs. Slash in so that and she won't be off on Friday. So this was gonna be the only time I could get to talk with her. <clears throat> All right, John, good to see you, sir. Yes, thank you for joining us in the middle of the week. Yeah, very thank you. Hump day. Yes. Peter B., good to see you. I see a lot of people getting on here. We'll wait a little bit longer till we get into the juicy part of the program. Hey, JCB, awesome. All right, JCB's here. Now we can get started. The Humpty Dance is a chance, dude. No, not, not the it's Humpty the, hump. the Humpty Hump. The camel that does. Yeah, no, but John Scarborough said Humpty Hump. Well, yes. My nose is big like a pickle. Josh. Not, you know what? You'll be removed from the, the theater. That's not if a you're not, G-rated song. If you're, if you're going to be using my secret identity name... <laughs> You'll be taken out back. <laughs> hey, Jeff, good to see you. Everything's good on my end, Peter. Everything's going good. We're staying safe, staying healthy, staying away from rioting and COVID-19. I want to write a song about rioting and COVID-19. What do you think? No? No, all the COVID-19 stuff disappeared when rioters started. It was okay to riot and be around hey, people. Hey, hey, hey. It sounds like you're trying to make this political. I'm not. I'm this is uh, not. I'm just saying you can't do You know, that's two about strikes home. against you now. Ooh. First you use my private identity, <laughs> and then you try to get political. Oops. Oh, what do they call it when they when they put you in, they take you somewhere? It's re-education. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take you to the re-education room with bright lights and perhaps some waterboarding. Oh, that does not sound fun. <laughs> Hey, Pete, good to see you, Therapeutic Edge. Real MJ is here. Excellent. <laughs> he, he said to remember this next time you draw blood from me. I only do that about every three months. Yeah. <laughs> but you're awesome at it. You're the best. Got my squeaky chair. The goose is loose. I know. <laughs> I can't get comfortable. I got to stay sitting forward so nobody hears the goose. <laughs> you do need a new chair. No, don't do it. Tell me about these knives. No. No. <laughs> oh, okay. These are knives that I had been carrying a little bit. I have one knife that I've been carrying, and it's that really nice, clear G10 bug out. But one of the knives we're going to look at tonight that came in is why that one no longer works there. Hey, Big Sean. Is this Big Sean? Did I know Big Sean? Or is this a different Big Sean? Is this a Big Sean, like Big Sean from up real close to me? Or are you a different Big Sean? Two, I, I don't know how to, to clarify. Are you, you uh, do you know anybody named uh, Seth or Richie? <laughs> is it that Big Sean? <laughs> oh, no, it's not. I'm glad. Detroit. I know another Big Sean. All right, cool. Detroit. That's awesome. Hey, Bad Monkey, good to see you. Take the chair out, Goose Honey. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah, it needs to. Uh, 
Hey, Mike, good to see you. I think so, Pete. I think, yeah. I don't know any small Sean's. No, I don't either. They're all big Sean's. Yeah, they're either tall, big, or tall and big. Yeah. They're all sizable Sean's. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, JCB, you kind of got a point there. All right, so this is the Civivi with the cool name that I can't remember. A really good knife, especially from the thumb studs and super EDCable. I've been using this a little bit. I use this at my desk a lot to cut cut stuff with. And then this thing's a beast. I like to carry this. This is gonna be a new truck knife, I think. I love this knife. You like the thumb stud ones? Yeah, yeah, I'm digging thumb studs. I think I know why. I think on my left hand, which is what I use primarily, I got more power in my thumb stud than I do in my flipper finger. Mm -hmm. Because right-handed, I find myself flipper fingering. Mm -hmm. So if it's got a little bit of a flipper and a thumb stud, did I just burp on camera? I don't know. I hope not. That would be terrible. Just got home from working downtown and making masks. I mean, oh, that's cool. He's making masks in L.A. Cool. That's awesome. Did the stream just drop for you guys? I don't know. I can't see the stream the stream feed. It says the video resolution is kind of down, but it doesn't say anything off the stream. Is everybody coming back? Anybody coming back? <laughs> I see what you're typing there, Pete. That's going to be... You got to save the good ending for the last. What's wrong with you? <laughs> 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 That's the last thing. I'm trying to do spoilers. I know. <laughs> I always get in trouble for telling the ending of the movie. Yeah, that's your thing, though. You like to read the end of the book. I do like to read the end of the book. You know, I've been doing that. Like, if I'm kind of interested in a movie, but it's not going the way I'm hoping it'll go, I'll Wikipedia it, and if it doesn't go the way, I just stop. I stop watching it. Mm. It saved, saved me a lot of time. time yeah. 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 I will tell you which movies I did that on because. Where's that Dimco? I'm not, I'm not showing the Dimco. <laughs> hey, no drunk. You're not helping. They've called for it. <laughs> they don't want to see this other stuff. That's good stuff, though. It is great stuff. I can't, because you know what happened? I'll show the Dimco, and then nobody wants to see the other stuff that I got that's really cool. There's a list. You have to go. What's the, where's the, what's the last knife on the list? Yeah, I see. See? <laughs> you put that one last. For a reason. Look, they're chanting. They're <laughs> rioting online. Dim, cool. Oh, he wants Dim, to see the 5 cool. Max. Okay, we'll break out the 5 Max. That'll help him. That'll appease the mob. You think? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. All right, there you go. See? Good Lord, that's the huge. The 5 Max. <laughs> Pete, you started a bad thing. Oh, Boney wants to see the shark. All right. All right, let's get into the knives. Enough, enough chatter. They've chattered enough, they said. Yeah. They said enough with that enough that back and forth. Okay, first knife we're going to look at are some folks sent in some fifth knives. And I apologize, Geese were sent in a while back, and I don't have the box on who sent them in. But if you want recognition for sending them in, Go ahead and raise your hand. I don't share if that's what you want to do. And if you sent some of these in, <laughs> what are they laughing at now? Daddy shark. Do -do 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 -do. Daddy shark. <laughs> they have problems. Be careful with that. No. All right. So, who's saying that? I'm <laughs> bad monkey. <laughs> All right. So, this is going to be difficult. All right, so somebody sent in this knife as a Ganjo. They sent in a bunch of other knives. This is a great knife, by the way. If you're all looking for awesome, this has got flippers and thumb studs. That's what I'm talking about. It's got a decent little flipper and thumb studs. Sound like that powerful left handed the thumb studs work. So they sent in this for Piff, which is a really great Piff knife. I really like the blue. Oh, yeah. Whatever it's yeah. with the orange. Yeah, I have that knife. Hey, Klaus. Thank you for showing up just for a second. Appreciate. Appreciate. Yeah, we'll definitely show that here in a second. You can come back and watch it if you get the time later. 
Just put it back in there. Oh, We're okay. just going to burn through these. Okay. Yeah, because everybody's writing. Yeah. You're not any help. It's not like you're not throwing fire to the flame there. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to see it again, too. <laughs> All right. So I only got to hold it for a minute. They also sent in this Kershaw. This is a great Kershaw. I sent out a bunch of those not too long ago. That's an awesome knife. And this is a sweet, sweet knife. Maybe one of the best budget knives out there. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Hollywood Tactical said the stripes on the Ganzo are going in the dark. Ontario rat. A real rat. Not like the fake rat, the rodent, not the rodent, not the Ganzo rodent, but the real rat. <laughs> They're saying that I'm causing problems on you the are. show. Yeah. Yeah, you're a rabble rouser. Well, you're how the guy going through the crowd going, you should say this because he's this. You should do that. How would you, you know respond? What you're, like? you're like the Grimer worm tongue of the crowd. How would you have the... responded to your fans demanding to see the... I'm trying to slow sure. roll this because we have an hour to do. But maybe people have to get to work tomorrow and they won't have time to wait till the end of the they show. They can rewatch it tomorrow. Oh, I didn't know you could rewatch it. Yeah. <laughs> what model is the Kershaw? Oh, the Kershaw. I don't I forget what it's called. Let me look and see if it's on here. No, it's not on here. I forget what it's called, but it's this is like an under a ten dollar knife. So there you go. No, no, you're not rabble. The <laughs> no, he's not calling <laughs> you rabble. See what you've done? <laughs> I've stirred the crowd. <laughs> All right, now we'll keep moving here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys everything I've gotten in. So, but this Friday when we do live. It's going to be a little bit weak because I won't have anything new. We'll just have to talk about something else, knives or cutting power, or, you know, why Grandpa Richard didn't have a pinky. Stuff like that, you know, good <laughs> stuff. Well. <laughs> this, Smoky Mountain sent this to me. This is, and I forget the name of it all the time. Oh, the base camp. Oh, man, even the name is cool. So, tonight... I'll be making a brisket and it will be on TV tomorrow. So this will be mangling a brisket this evening. Oh, Pete's getting Formax on Friday. Oh. His first Formax. He had the scout and the scout talked him into getting the real deal. He should have probably saved his money for the shark. Pete's rich, you know that? Oh, is he? Yeah. All oh. those California folks out there just rolling it. Yeah, he's got tons of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be going to a brisket, going to mangle some stuff. He's rich in love. There you go. There That's you awesome. Go. That's even better than I think. Not that I think I've heard. Why would I've you been... put a whistle on the end of your knife? Because you're like, somebody stole your knife, but they left the scabbard. Okay. Like, huh. Bring back my knife. I'm too chunky to run after you. Like that? Huh. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe there's a bear on you and all you have is a whistle. Who knows? You have to ask the tops people about that. So you can whistle while you work. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> all right. I'm going as fast as I can here. Now, speaking of Pete, me and him did an excellent trade. Awesome trade. In fact... I sent him a knife to look at, and then he said he was going to send me another knife to look at. And he was, I sent him a knife to review, and he was going to send me a knife that he was reviewing to, to review here. And I was thinking, man, I hope he doesn't like that knife that he sent at me because I would love to do a trade. And it worked out. He loved the knife, wasn't crazy about his knife, and I'm crazy about this knife. So this is the 3V bailout, oh, guys and gals. This knife is awesome. This is the knife that knocked that bug out out of my pocket. I've been carrying this thing everywhere. This is my new favorite EDC. It's a little bit longer than the bug out, and just I love this thing. Check that out. See how light that is. Oh, yeah. 
That's very light. But it's, I mean, it feels... It's super tough. I tried to break one on a video. It feels... Um... Hey, Chadman's here. Good to see you. It feels almost too light. Yeah. That's what I was trying to show in that video. People get the idea that it's going to break on you and all that. And No. I mean, it, it's solid, but it's it feel, it's so light that yeah, it's de it deceptive. It feels like a cheap knife. Almost. Yeah, if you picked it up blindfolded, you would you would think yeah, you would go, oh, this is a this is from dollar store. Yeah, the dollar store. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's from the, the different store. Yeah, store. it feels real plastic. Yeah, but then but you go watch my video where I tried to break break the uh, bug out, which is basically the same thing. And I'm pressing down this as hard as I can and squeezing it. And well, yes, it is plastic, but it's a very light plastic. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Big Sean's correct. It is plastic. So, anyways, this was one of the best trades ever. Seriously. It worked out great. Pete hooked me up on this one. It was awesome. Worked out awesome. That's cool. I'm <clears> glad <throat> that it worked out for you. You well, already yeah. put your signature lanyard on. That's right. The happiness lanyard. Yes. I need some more happiness paracord to go out. All right. Let's see here. We're going as fast as we can. Okay. We won't get too much. I prefer the freaking M4. The M4 Freak is awesome. Yeah. I have one of those. I just don't carry it. Are we ready? No. <sighs> Holy heck. What's wrong with you? I'm... I want to see the latest Safe Queen. You know what? If that, if that meanness is just... <laughs> is tra not transferring right... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the G10 Freak is awesome. I like the other Freak, too. Wait, not yet, Charger. <laughs> this is on you. You and Pete. You and Pete started this. <laughs> hey, Charger. Charger, you can't eat those. You can't eat those. No. What? You freak. <laughs> the cat is eating the pack. Get out of here. Now well, he's going to die. You dork. All right, so I got this to review too. This is the cold steel. No, no. <laughs> this is on you. The Kiridashi. We're going to check that out just off the top of my head. So awesome. Where's Marshall? I didn't see him come in. Yeah. Oh, there he is. 157 Marshall. Awesome. There you go. The Kiridashi. Awesome. I'm hurrying. I didn't even look at that. See? Marshall is about to buy something that he shouldn't. A full serrated Ultratech. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Chadman, yeah, the Kiridashi is great. Chadman will encourage him. Buy it. But he should buy this other knife instead. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at in the Kiridashi? Oh, somebody sent me a birthday present. I don't think she's in the room, but Aww. Peach Jackson sent me a birthday present. This thing, for all you California folks, super snappy. Ooh. Yes. I like how snappy that was. There you go. The Launch 10. Check. This thing is awesome for cutting stuff. Like rope, that hook blade there, that hawkbill blade. Yeah. It's just awesome. I've been using it. You can tell I've been using it. So thank you, Peach. I appreciate that. Super awesome. I talk really fast. I'm almost out of breath from talking so fast. It's purple. Is it I purple? Like it. Oh, yes. it's gray. No, it's. It's like a purpley gray. Oh, it's probably reflecting the purple lanyard. All right, like so there we go. Thank you. Good night. What? Is it thank you? Good night. No, it's not thank you. Good night. Oh. Time. It's a. Uh, All right. Or do we want to do? You're so weird. Okay, so here we go. This is my new. <laughs> you have problems. This is the Demco AD20. <laughs> with the shark lock check that out check out the lock there we go 
It's really awesome. Yeah, there it is. And so, it's unbelievable. So, if you're wanting a fidgety, fidgety knife, this is unbelievably fidgety. I mean, just incredible. An incredible knife. I think there's 20 CV steel on and this we, thing. We just saw how much it will, the last time it was used, as it goes back into the stage. Yeah, it, it will never, ever be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> this is like that caveman they found in the ice. <laughs> how long before you have a drawer full? Well, they're not releasing it until tomorrow. First of I all. might get another one just to use. This, this knife... I was telling Pete, this is probably what. It comes with a coupon for ramen. <laughs> it does. It's super. It's not. It's not cheap. But uh, there you go. Anyways, this the, the cool one of the cool things about this is this is the first one ever. This is the first one ever created, and I managed to talk them into selling it to me. Can you? Yeah. If y'all didn't see the other video, it says number one custom right there. First custom. He he hand hand signed it there, and then hand signed Demko right there. So yeah, it was really really cool. I didn't think I had a shot to get this one. No, I was way under that charger. That's a little bit over half of that. So you know, should I tell him how much it costs? Nope, I was waved off on how much it costs. If you PM me, I'll let you know. I don't want to. Well, I don't know how much they're going to sell them for. The, the customs? Yeah, yeah. They're how much are they going to sell the customs for? I think it's 850 850 Yeah. Okay, and how much for the MGs? I think the MGs, the MGs would be 450 450 so that's a little more reasonable. Oh, they're all going to have that engraved. Shut up, Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> That was mean. <laughs> I know. That's not cool. <laughs> this is a really awesome knife in hand. As far as EDCable knives among all the Demco customs that I've had, that's the most EDCable, period. So the thing that I like about this is a lot of the Demcos feel way too heavy for me. Yeah, they are heavy, yeah. And this one, because of the space here. Yeah, I mean, I love the... It's a lot less heavy. It feels really nice. It's a nice weight in the hand, but it's not too I don't, heavy. Here's a here's an 8010, and you can just feel the difference it, in the weight. It's so much heavier. You know, the comparison to the Formax, yeah. So, if a lady wanted one of these, it would be... Here's, here's the Formax. Nice here's the 8010, and then... I'm gonna do all this in a video, so we'll see this later, but I'll show you guys first. And there is the 8020. But this one almost feels Yeah, but it's a lot. I mean, you got open construction, so you're not getting back you know, backspaces here. You don't have all this liners down here. I mean the, the blade is still very comparable. It's, but as far as just the way it feels, you can feel the, the how much lighter it is. Yeah, I like that. It's, it has steel liners like three quarters of the way down. It's a perfect weight. And I like this, uh, what do you call this right here? This jimping. Jimping. Yeah. I like the jimping. Yeah, nice jimping and, and meaningful jimping. Some people just put jimping on there to look good, and that stuff that stuff works here. So it works here, and it definitely works here if you're getting up on it. So, And I tried. I tried. I know this thing seems like, oh, yeah, you're going to slip back and activate it. And I tried every possible way of like accidentally activating this, and you're not going to do that. You're not going to be like, oh, I'm cutting, and then I sh activated the lock. It's not like that. This is a really amazing knife, and it's very fidgety. So if you're into fidgety knives, this is about as fidgety as they get. This is up there with like the axis lock fidgety, <laughs> but it's even more so. Just a really cool knife. No bony blades. That one is a safe queen. He will not be taking that one apart. I would. I'm just afraid of not getting it back together. So if I he get probably will if I get an MG, MG, yeah, because the blades are going to be 
interchangeable. Interchangeable, yeah. Yeah. And the fact that they're interchangeable, it's got to be kind of easier to take them apart. The fact that they're going to allow people to interchange those blades. I don't know if you have to send them in. That wouldn't make sense. I think they're going to be selling the blades. Yeah. So when I get DMG, I'll try and do that. That's right. That's why you get four of them. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, not Are these today. titanium liners? I don't know. They must be like brushed titanium if they are. I don't know. Yeah, if you if you like this kind of knife and maybe like the eighty ten is too heavy for you or the the four max or even the eighty fifteen just to feel a little bit bulky, this thing is is right there. Yeah, that's nice. This is one of the rare, by the way, rare M4 80 tens from a long time ago. Now you're just bragging. <laughs> why would you point that out? <laughs> I mean, it's obvious, but why would you make a point to tell everybody? <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> mean little person. <laughs> Stick a magnet on it. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know why, why are we putting a is. magnet on it? To see if it's titanium or not. But I'm thinking it might steel stick to the steel. Hey, William, good to see you. William, you missed the reveal. But here it is. Just in case you missed it. The new Dimco. Shark. 8020. It's they should have called it the shark. With, but they have to keep in line with all their other stuff. Yeah, it's not as fun. It's got the shark lock. That's all you need. They got some cool names for locks. Scorpion lock, shark lock. So why don't they just call them the scorpion or the shark? Because then they're like, hey, that sounds like a gas station knife name. That's what happens. Really? Like, that sounds like an Mtech knife, the Mtech scorpion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the AD15 with the scorpion lock sounds better. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Mm. I guess. I don't know. Hey, Wookie, good to see you. M48010. No, I'm sad. I'm sorry, Reed. I didn't mean to make you sad. Yeah, this knife is awesome. Seriously. I I mean, I've been waiting for something new from, from the Demco's, and I've been hearing about something new coming out for at least a year or so, more than a year. And then... Yeah, because they told you that they were going to come out with a new lock. At yeah. Play show, right? Well, they've been telling me different things. Not that we're friends. I mean, they've just been telling everybody. But... I mean, I'd like to say we're friends. If the Dimcos are watching, yeah, we're <laughs> friends. So, uh, they can make multiple models with the same lock. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because then they'd have to call everything the shark. So, if they wanted to make something bigger. He's smart. Oh, that Who was is... that? Boney. Yeah, Boney. Good call, Boney. That's a smart I have over 50 knives and only one cold steel, the pocket sword. Cold steel. Man, if you're seriously trying to use stuff. <laughs> Marshall's, Marshall's messing with Chad, saying he's, he's not on his Chadman account, so he can't do anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's Old funny. school recon one with ultralock. Oh, cool. I wouldn't mind having one of those just to have it. Is this going to go into production of cold steel? I haven't heard anything dead full. I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, I don't know. It would It would be awesome. Since it's new, they're probably going to give it a year or so. Yeah, they what waited like four years for the 8015 to go to production. Yeah. And then however long for the 8010, like nine years for the 8010 to make it. So it won't be any time soon, I imagine, but... They got to make their money out of their out of their knives, probably then pass it on. Yeah, charger, the the pocket clips. This one, this one actually has a fairly decent pocket clip. It's not that wide one that angers a lot of people. I don't use pocket clips a lot, hardly ever, so I don't pay enough attention to them. But yeah, a lot of people dislike the cold steel pocket clips. But this one's got a really good one on there.
They have, yeah, Marshall, they've stayed really faithful to the designs. The 8010 and the 8015 were spot on. Just awesome. Oh, the production ones? Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. You know, I've said this before, I don't want to mess, mess with the Demco's income, but because I still get money from it. But if, if you had an 8010 production and you wouldn't feel bad if you couldn't afford the custom 8010 because of how close it is, how awesome it is. S35 VN steel. Well, they know that, and that was brought up to their attention when they first decided to go production with their guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of Demco collectors, and myself included, were just some of them really stressed out, and I was kind of worried, like, hey, all this is going to go to heck because nobody's going to want one. And it kind of went the opposite way. It kind of went like more people were able to afford them. Yeah, and then people that hadn't been able to look at them were able to get them in hand and think, oh yeah, I want a customer. Yeah, and the market's starting to come back around the secondary market on the 15s and the 10s. So you're starting to see those sell for a little bit more than they had been. Boy, everybody was all, you know, flush with awesomeness that they had such a great knife. You know, 100, let's just say 150 bucks. It was a big gamble on their part. Yeah, there was a lot of butt hurt. I know some guys that fire sailed their their Demcos. And like I said, I was kind of worried. I was, you know, had a pretty good investment into Demco just to worry about them going half price. But they're coming back. The Protec Mordax is very smooth. Too bad it's a little price. I'll have to check the Mordax. Yeah, the Formax Scout, Marshall. I forgot about that one. That's like the budget of their production of the Formax. And so that was a great act, too. But same thing. I got a Formax Scout for 110 I couldn't afford the $300 Formax. But you had to feel super bad about that. Yeah. Still an investment at $110, yeah. especially in today's economy. Well, yeah, for non-knife people, they definitely would think that. Hey, Pete, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Say hi to Mrs. Pete. Enjoy your dinner. Yep. Have a good night. Have a good dinner. <laughs> All right. So this is what happens. I know it's I know it's this very anticlimactic now. This is what happens when you just do the reveal. Then they, everybody goes home. Yeah, you're you're a problem. Well, you're like, hey, you know that guy he's been dating, that girl he's been dating the whole movie. It's a dude. You're the one that ruined it for no, everybody. I you I'm the kind of person that wants to the, open the crying game. presents on Christmas Eve. You told everybody about the crying game, didn't you? No, because did. I never saw that movie. Oh. <laughs> Darth Vader's his father? Was that you? That seems like a you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It just looks like a lady. Okay. What else we do? What do you all got? I got nothing coming in. I got one Not thing. now. <laughs> hey, you know what? It may be your bedtime. That may be the problem. <laughs> You may have stayed up too late. I have. I don't really stay up this late that often. Um, Cesar needs to know what you recommend for pivot oil. Knife, uh, knife pivot lube. That was called, yeah. This stuff, the not the heavy stuff, but the light stuff is awesome. It's not heavy, super awesome. Light. Buy this in the light. Yeah, I have a, it a says light P bottle. But KPL it's, it's, heavy. And KPL regular, whatever it is. You want the KPL regular. Yeah, it's good stuff. We open presents on Christmas Eve. I hate waiting. I, I do that too. I'm terrible about it. Well, you've had to wait like a month or with your mom the whole year because she starts buying Christmas presents in January going, like the I got day your after Christmas, Christmas yeah. And you're like, can I have it now? Yeah, she's bad for that. I think there's 10 and 19 weight. Yeah, get the 10 weight. The 19, I don't. I haven't tried the 19. I mean, it might be awesome. But I'll be using the 10. So, I don't have, I have one knife that's being made for me. It's for my chopping competition. And I'm just waiting on that from Big big D knives. Um, Robert, that was his Father's Day present. <laughs> I, 
But what about my steak? Oh, well, of course you'll get your mail and foot massage <laughs> and, and cards and things. Excellent. But as far as your present... And keto chocolate. Keto chocolate. Okay, all right. We can work with that. <laughs> oh, the PM2 you want from SMK, that'd be cool. He, uh, Marshmallow got a Hogue. Oh, you got a Hogue? Oh, the Hogue. That's a great knife. I love all the EX Hogues. That's the automatic, though. Yeah, the automatic Hogues and the regular Hogues are awesome in that series. The Savini Backlash and close out. Yeah, that's a cool little flipper, too. If, I, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Savini Vexer. Nice. Father's Day gift for the next few years. Yeah, it's Father's Day, birthday, anniversary. We rolled it all in the one. <laughs> Oh, Ken Onion Workshop. Nice. I was thinking about getting one of those. Let me know how it goes. I was always worried about grinding my blade down, but for kitchen blades, I think it seems like that'd be great to sharpen. Just really quick get an edge on there. Yeah. It's like a mini belt grinder. So you have to be really careful, but all of a sudden you'll have a bunch of needles. Good. But no, the people that I'm know not. how to use it, there's a bunch of people that really know how to use it. Like Big Hands Dave. He knows how to use it. He'll put an X like nobody's business on your knife. Seems like a more advanced tool to me. Yeah, definitely. Ordered a custom katana. Cool. Two theft serration knives. I love the... Yeah, I have that. Alright, here's some theft serrations. I love theft serrations. I'm thinking about getting some vefserations on my my bug out. All right, hold on a second. I don't think this is the serrated one, but I have the shirt. Watch yourself. There's something humongous. <laughs> you guys, oh, you can get this for a good price right now. You guys, if you want a beast knife, this thing is freaking awesome. The going heavy. Seriously, go look for this knife. This thing is so much. I, every time I grab this thing, I forget how awesome it is. And I grab it and I remember how awesome it is. This thing is amazing. Do I further these serrations to cold steel? Oh, yeah. You cannot beat this. These serrations for slicing and cutting and just all kinds of stuff are awesome. But this thing, oh, with best serrations, this thing's a beast. Check that out. Feel that thing. Doesn't it feel demko y? Like a big as that 5 max kind of feeling? Yeah, just not as heavy because the holes in the. Yeah, the thing. thing's awesome. Hey, Peter um, just celebrated their 31st anniversary. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, happy anniversary, Peter. That's really cool. That's really what cool. What did you get her? Was it a knife? Can you put that down when you're asking weird questions? It scares me. 31 long hard years. <laughs> what did she win? Let's see here. <laughs> We've been married for 24 wonderful years. Yeah. Just celebrated that last, last month. <laughs> We're all here. We can go change this paper to the watch group. <laughs> Chadman's gotten into watches. I know. Oh, you saw that? I did see that he's into watches. But he's a lawyer. He has to impress when he goes to court. Yeah, exactly. He has to get there, ladies and gentlemen. And of the he jury. probably isn't allowed to carry his knives into court. That's true. Or and his guns. Lonely. And he's lonely. Yeah. yeah, and so he needs something but He to brings feel. his guns, though. Well, yeah, he brings his guns, the guns, but he also needs something on his wrist so that if he needs to smack somebody that, you know, is really heavy, yeah, dude, substantial. He's a, he's a beast. Mm -hmm. You got see him lifting weights. He's a monster. See, correct. Yeah, he's yeah. walking in with short sleeve suits on. No, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's allowed by the judge. He's like either. posing. Ladies and gentlemen, exhibit A. 
<laughs> he distracts the jury with That's his right. muscles. <laughs> if the shirt does not fit, you must quit. <laughs> Brother. That's right. <laughs> um, don't drop it on your foot. No, wow. no, those things are beasts. It's all metal. I think it's aluminum, but this still this is a cool knife. I think they're like thirty six, thirty eight bucks right now. I forget where it's at. It might be at Smoky Mountain. Go check them out. And if you do, use my link so we can have monies. Monies for the piffers. <laughs> <laughs> the sleeveless suit. I'm telling you. He's yeah. fashion forward. So he awes them with his muscles and blinds them with the bling of his watch. That's right, yeah. And before long, long they're just like, we don't know. Yeah. They're innocent. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he dazzles them with a double bicep. <laughs> then right at the end, he goes into most muscular. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> And he starts passing out his card. Yeah. The lady judge is all flustered. She gets, no! She gets the vapors. <laughs> Mrs. Chad won't like that. Well, I'm just saying. He, he's not trying to. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> all right. I think we've gone off on a weird... I've we been divorced have. for 28 wonderful years. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we've gone off on a weird tangent here. Talking about Chad's muscles. All right. Anyways, <laughs> the going heavy. This thing's awesome. The eighty twenty is just Demco right now. I imagine it's gonna be Demco. They haven't. They just came out. This I think they actually come out tomorrow. I got one yesterday or today actually. So I got mine a little bit early. But yeah. And then the MGs I think come out this next week. I think. They'll be awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot, yeah. I think it's the same steel. I think it's just a matter of the grind. Being hand ground, grounded, grounded, ground, hand ground. ground by Andrew himself. Or, you know, machine ground. But they're still assembled by hand. All the other parts are, are made by hand. Just the, the blade. Huh. But it's going to knock 400 bucks off your price, and then you have basically the same kind of knife. I went after it because I'm a huge Demko fan, and that's one of the main parts of my collection is collecting his stuff. I just kind of fell in love with him early through the Cold Steel stuff. How many hours do you think it takes him to hand grind the knife? Oh, I don't know. To get it perfect like that and then to get the edge on? I have no idea. I was just figuring out. What is price per hour? Is? Oh, I imagine it's pretty high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got to make it worth while for himself. Because you got to remember, what if he messes up on the blade? So he's got to eat the eat the ones he messes up on. Yeah, that's true. He has to go. Hey, Peter Reed, thank you very much. Take care. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's awesome at grinding. I'm just saying, you know, he wants to put in the time. I don't think he, I think he likes designing knives more than he likes making knives. Mm -hmm. Well, and he's so, come up with, what, three different locks now? He's no, created... no, four. He created the ram lock, too, oh. for the bush, the bushman, pocket bushman. So ram lock, scorpion lock, triad lock, and now the shark. Yeah, he's a genius. That made you really happy. I knew him well. It did. It was very <laughs> awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. The Ramlock. I don't have one available. I have one in my box, but it's way over there. Hey, Beastie. Good to see you, sir. Can you 20, 20 next to, to, 10? to the 10? Yeah, we'll close here. Make sure you close it right. I'll get out the 20. I'll get out the 10 again. Let's get out a different 10 this time. The M4 10 obsession. Buddy. <laughs> we'll go with the Snakeskin Micarta 3V8010. So there we go. Bad Monkey has to go. Hey, Bad Monkey, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Good night.
<laughs> so here you go. Here we bring this closer so you can kind of kind of see it. The comparison there. They're very similar in size as far as top to bottom. This one probably a little bit bigger. And then even thickness across the back. Yeah, the blades look about the same. very similar. But what you're going to miss out on here is, oh, I almost cut myself. Yeah. The weight from the open construction on this one really makes it where this is a, a lot more EDCable for people that may not want, you know, six or seven ounces, whatever this is worth of knife in their pocket. Does his brother bring all the knives? Grind all the knives? His designs, I think. I don't know. I don't know if he grind. Does John? John grinds them. I have to ask. I don't know. I thought Andrew ground them. <laughs> Chad, you missed a whole bit we did on you and your your watches. So you'll have to review the footage later. He heard it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so did you decide on what they say? Uh, um... <laughs> yeah, I think John's kind of like the business side of it, and Andrew is the genius. I'm not saying John's not smart. I'm not saying that without being mean, but they're both really, really good at what they do. Yeah, one of them does more of the business side. And then one of them does more of the design. Who's wrestling a parent? It's my chair, Marshall. I spent too much on knives. I can't afford a chair. <laughs> Knife Junkie Podcast. His brother builds them and he draws them. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. It's definitely a family business. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, WD-40 for sure. All right. Oh, yeah, we guys, did y'all get anything in? Did I already ask you that? Yeah. <laughs> I got some nice pivot lube I can do on that. You should. Okay. Before Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll put some pivot lube on there. The Cerakote that Trier did on my Ultratech is legit. The clip got caught on my T-shirt, hit the concrete, no scratches. I love Cerakote. He's, you know, Cerakote is like this really hard ceramic kind of paint that they put on your guns and knives and stuff and it protects them from rust and protects them from you know scratches so he's saying he got his knife done ripped out of his pocket accidentally hit concrete no problem wow yeah i would love you something cerakote like that lithium grease works great on chairs i got a covid two son it's sick i don't know what number it is probably 19. <laughs> You're crazy. That's a good one, Acid. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man. Is it really called COVID? I don't know. I don't know. I thought he was just kidding. I was trying to jump onto his joke there. <clears throat> <laughs> Three new two sons. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are getting those two sons. Do you have one? I have a few, yeah. But yeah. two sons is just a, like a company that makes a bunch of knives. Oh. People getting these bidding wars on eBay. Hmm. So. See what happened? Okay. We talked too much. What else do you have? <laughs> I got nothing coming in. I got that knife coming in. I got to buy something just so I can have something to talk about on Friday. How about instead <laughs> you just do what? <laughs> bring out all your Demcos one more time. Well I was gonna do that for a video. And say, look, these are all my beautiful safe queens. I don't safe queen the Demcos. Most of them you do. No, that's not true. I <laughs> use just about every demo I had. Except for these that are signed? No, I've carried this one before. I've used this one. Rambo 5 movie knife. That would be awesome. 
Didn't Smoky Mountain have the Rainbow Knight? They had a bunch of them, yeah. They had a connection with the guy. What's his name? I don't know. Gibbons? Gibbons? The guy that makes those things? That designs them? Yeah. <laughs> Marsha, you're crazy. The Wii Warncliffe. They make some really cool Warncliffe. I've had a couple. Gil Hibbins. There you go, Hollywood. Guess who has a wrench? <laughs> He's back with his powers now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had all this stuff, and we talked about it too quickly, trying to get to the shark line. I know. I was going to elongate it. We should have just covered the shark knife. Oh, tonight. Piff. We'll talk about Piff. Oh, are you going to If you're not that? signed up for Piff, do it. Tonight is your last night. If you're not signed up for Piff, I'm going to be send, starting Piff boxes tomorrow. Sending out some boxes. I'm going to send out as many as I can between this month and next month. 300 second commute for everyone. That's right. <laughs> While he shows his, uh, you know, what are they called? Those knives that you push the button? Yeah, it's the Microtex. Yeah. The Microtex yeah. he likes. Yeah. yeah. He had one of those Cerakote. Yeah, I'm saying that he's going to 300 second mute everybody so that he can yeah, show the, right. all his Microtex. <laughs> I'm not going to sign up. I'm just going to continue to fix all the good giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> Piff, Boney. Piff is just. It's a thing that this this channel does where we send out a box of goodies to people that want a box of goodies. Pay it for it. It's to cheer people up in the knife community. That's it. So yeah, we get people. A lot of people send in stuff. I chip in stuff. People send in money for shipping, and then we send you out a little box. It'll have a knife in it. It'll have some 550 cord, a little bit of candy, maybe some stickers. Maybe a little doodad, most likely a spinner until those run out. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody loves to get something wonderful in the mail. Send me your mailing address to jimmy slash YouTube at yahoo.com. That's all you got to do. Send me your mailing address and say, hey, I want to sign up for Piff. And that'll be it. It's, it really is that easy. And if you want to donate to Piff, then same thing. Just email me. Chad's still talking about his microtechs. Oh, that's fine. I'm just, I didn't, I wasn't reading. I was just trying to get out the PIF information. Getting a case rust lock. I like those. Those are nice. Yeah, Marshall. It's people spreading love around. That's it. Yep. We're just trying to move. In the last three years, I think we've, we've shipped out 1,600 boxes. Yeah. So... And that's donations and, and, you know, Smoky Mountain helped us out a lot. Yeah, they've donated quite a bit of stuff. Stickers and knives. And, but as far as in the Demcos, they, they sent us a knife a couple years ago to auction off for, for shipping money. So, yeah, a lot of people have been involved, but it, it, it doesn't cost anything to sign up. It's just a matter of what's going to happen is you're not guaranteed a knife, like, within the next week. It's going to – if you're on the list and – you get in between that signing time, you're going to get something sometime. I just It's just a matter of getting there, having enough shipping money and that kind of stuff. But you're going to get something. And then, starting in August, we're going to start the Piffmas list, start driving for Piffmas. And that's the big one where we send three or 400 boxes out for Christmas. Yeah. And we're going to do that. <clears throat> Totally off subject, but I saw a picture of a sign that was made for you in the Love Seat sign. Are you talking about the wooden one? I will definitely show that. That thing is so awesome. It's hanging up in my media room slash weight room. Mm -hmm. That is really, really cool. Yeah, I'll send that. I'll, I'll get a picture. If you're on Facebook, I'll post a picture of it. If not, I'll show it to you Friday. I'm bringing Friday, out Friday. Friday, that'll be a good thing to share on Friday. Bring it on Friday? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'm getting waved off of here. So, Piffmas signups will be in August. I'll announce it and let everybody know. Piff sign up is just for, I mean, we had the major Piff sign up a couple weeks ago, but 
for the folks watching tonight, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all have one more day to sign up tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was so cool. That's one of the coolest things I've got. Maybe the coolest things anybody's made for me ever. This is really awesome. He did such a great job. Yeah, it is really cool. I like the 3D effect of it. Of the wood. <clears throat> so, sign up for PIF tonight if you'd like. And I'm going to start compiling the entire list and start sending out stuff. All right, y'all take it easy. I'm out of here. This is the AD20. If you need to talk to me, jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com. Email me. Hit me up on Facebook, on PMs. I will talk your ear off until you can't talk no more. Say goodbye. Good night. And we'll talk to y'all later.